Today we're going to be showing you the best notification widgets for iOS 8. Today we're going to be showing you my list of my top 10 favorite notification widgets for iOS 8. These are my favorite apps that have notification widgets built right in that you can use on your iPhone running iOS 8. Now we're going to show you really quickly how to install a widget if you're not aware already. The way to do this is to swipe down on the notification center. Then you're going to go to the bottom and click edit. From there you'll see the do not include list. All you want to do is tap the plus on one of these and then you can actually move them as well using the little uh, grabber on the side as you can see. So that is how to add a notification widget. Let's get started and take a look at the top 10 widgets for iOS 8. The first application we have is called Widgets. Now this application has five really cool and really unique widgets all built into one application. Its main functionality is to have widgets. So as you can see here, we're going to allow you to have the calculator, currency converter, photo frame, time zones, and calendar. For the photo frame, you can of course add photos from your album. You're able to choose which currencies you'd like to convert. So there's a lot of customizable options and is available for free. There is an additional in-app purchase if you'd like, but it's not necessary. So if we exit out here and we take a look at what those look like in the notification center. Now, this one's unique because it does have multiple widgets all in one. So the first widget we have is a calculator. And this calculator right here uh, can do basic mathematics right here. So as you can see, you can take uh, 81 and then divide it by 9. And then you will get 9 right up there at the top. Of course, you can add percent percentages. Um, you can divide, multiply, subtract, add. But it's really basic calculations right here for this calculator. However, it's very useful to have right in the notification center if you want to add something up uh, or multiply something really quickly. It's a nice little widget to have. Now, the next widget we have is the calendar widget. It's going to tell you what day it is. Uh, it's going to give you a calendar view. Now, if you do upgrade to premium, you can actually swipe through multiple calendars as well. Currency converter is going to allow you to convert any currency you plug into the application. So as you can see, I'm currently, currently converting uh, dollars into euros, but you can convert whatever you would like. Uh, you just have to set it up through the application. Now, underneath here, we have the photo frame, and this is going to allow you to add multiple photos in that can be rotating in and out. It's not 100% practical, however, it is a pretty cool widget to add if you want to spruce up uh, your notification screen. And then the last one here is the time zones, and as you can see, you can have multiple different time zones in. You can add as many as you want. I've got New York and LA right here. So those are all of the cool widgets that are built right into the widgets application. The next app that we have is the Post-It Plus app. Now this application I can't show you in full uh, because I don't actually have a board of Post-Its, but basically the way this works is you want to actually take a picture of all of your Post-It notes on your board or your wall or wherever you have all of your Post-It notes. And then what it's going to do uh, is it's actually going to put them into the notification center. So if you go down to the notification center and you see the Post-It Plus, currently there are no notes yet. But when you do add notes, they're going to all show up right here and they're going to show you what you need to do at that current period in time. Now, the next application is iTranslate. It is a great translating application, but it does have a widget built right in here. Uh, so if we go to the iTranslate widget section, as you can see, you can choose which uh, particular widget you would like. However, anything that's currently in your clipboard, you can translate to a specific language. So you can translate it to Spanish or French just by clicking on that quick button and then it's going to copy that new translation to your clipboard. Now the next application involved is Evernote. Evernote is going to allow you to have uh, your text, camera, photos, um, and reminders and lists, everything built right into your Evernote application right here with quick links on your iPhone uh, right here in the notification center. 
Now the next one, Wonder List, is going to allow you to add all of your uh, your little lists right here onto the notification center as well. So when you're done, you just have to hit the little check mark. It'll bring you into the application, and then uh, you can say when you've done it uh, and if it's complete or not. The next one is very similar. It's uh, GNEO, and that's going to allow you just to hit that little uh, button right there, bring you right into the application. You can mark it as complete, like so. Then after that, we do have a couple of these news applications that are going to be giving you some headlines right in here. Now, this first one is BuzzFeed. As you can see, you can actually click on Next Story. Next story, you know, if you find something interesting, you can hit bookmark and it'll actually bookmark it uh, to the application. So when you go back into the BuzzFeed app later on, you can check those out. Vice News is going to show you some of their headlines. You can click on those and you'll be brought right into the application to read the article. The Weather Channel usually has a bigger weather display. Uh, I don't have location services turned on for privacy reasons. However, when you do turn that on, you're gonna be able to see a big weather display in addition to the video that it'll have right there. Same thing with Sports Center. I'm not actually signed into my account right now, but when you are signed in, you're gonna actually be able to see uh, the different sports they're playing and also listen to live radio right here. And the final one is network, which is going to allow you to connect with uh, whatever network uh, you are, you have your TV on, and you can actually see all of the different shows in that network and the lineup for that night. So these are all of the best notification widget applications. I just want to make a quick video. I know a lot of you guys were asking for this. Uh, just a quick opinions on some of the best applications that you can use right in here. And these are the ones I definitely recommend uh, giving a try. The links are in the description. Let me know what your favorite notification widgets are in the comment section below. Be sure to use App Nana to get paid apps, iTunes gift cards, and Amazon gift cards for free. You can watch my video tutorial on uh, how to get all of these really cool gift cards for free uh, using App Nana and similar services. You can click the link down in the description as well. Once again, I'm Mark Mapbind. Thank you guys for watching this video. Like it, share it with your friends. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.